G'day, welcome to Soul Fix this morning. Got absolute glamour conditions, check this out. It's been a long time coming. The wind has been incessant all summer so far, but finally we got a good day. I've headed out to a couple of breaking reefs around here and I'm gonna flick a few poppers around, uh, chuck a couple of lures and see if I can't get a couple of kingfish on. Um, while I'm getting set up, I'll show you a bit of footage from this morning. Um, I didn't really have a huge amount of luck, but I got a couple of hits in close to the beach. Um, I'll run that footage now while I get set up here and get my poppers set up and then we'll see if we can get a couple of kings on. Ew, I'm excited. Uh, if you're wondering what you should be sitting on, something like that. Oh, here we go. I've just hooked a fish. This is a squid jig. Oh, he's gone. That was never going to last. That was my squid jig. I just hooked a squid on my bait and I brought it in and dropped out this little squid jig. And then something's just eating my squid jig. Look, a squid jig. Interesting. <laughs> oh, hopefully he finds my bait. My bait's just down there, so hopefully. He... Wow. Yep, Squiddy Boy's back. Got him on the jig this time, so hopefully this could be some calamari. Lovely calamari would be nice. Beautiful. There you go. Mr. Squiddles. He's going straight into the caller bag. Give him a bit of a karate chop. Here we go. Good fish, good fish. That was a matter of time. There's a lot of bait in the area. Flying fish coming out of the water. It's it was just a matter of time. Something ate that squid jig a minute ago, which was a solid fish too. But yeah, I never expected to stay connected to that on a squid jig. This will be a pinky, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hear that snap, snap, snap. Oh! And I just dropped him and that was a pinky, I saw him. What happened there? That crack, crack, crack you're hearing, that's what happens when the the line gets wrapped around their fin, around their um, dorsal spines or whatever, and it like snap, snap, snap along the spines. It happens quite often. It makes a weird noise in your rod and you wonder what happened. And what happened there is it just snapped me off because of that. Weird. Ah, oh, that's upset. That was my dinner right there. And now not. Hopefully there's a few more hanging around. And I'm actually gonna put an Abrolos plastic on because I've got it here rigged up already. Too lazy to get a hook out. Absolutely stunning morning. It's been so long I've been waiting for these mornings. These balmy summer mornings. It's going to be 36 degrees today, I think. 36 or it was 37 yesterday. So it should hold for a while. My actual plan today is to go find some kingfish, which I will do if I can just secure dinner first, and then I'll go and play with some kingfish. Kingfish are fickle, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. So I'd rather try to score some dinner here, get a snapper if I can. I'm only real close in, I'm only not even a K out. Just sitting on a bit of a ledge here. Oop, 10 meters, oh, it's seven meters, drops down to 14. It's just a lot of bait in the area. As I sounded over it, there was bait everywhere. So I thought I'll stop here, see if I can get a snapper before I head to the Kingfish Reef. I'll give it another 10 or 15 here, then I'll head down to the reef. That's what I actually wanted to really come for. See if I can get some delicious king fishes. Yep. 
small one. Whoa. The sun's just starting to come up and I can see the bottom and it's clear as anything down there. It's beautiful. This one's a little little brake sea cod. It's a little brake sea cod. Took that abrolus plastic. Loved it. Oh, the sun's coming up now. The bite's kind of shut down for snapper. I dropped the only good fish. Oh, I've dropped two good fish. One on the squid jig and then one. Sometimes that line, like I said, it, it flicks off the top of their fins or it can be on their pegs on their teeth and it's like click, click, click. And then, yeah, that one, it just chafed through. That was, if that's how it goes. You don't land them all. That's what happens when you fish light leaders. I'm only fishing um, 30 pound leader here. Sometimes, yeah, the light leader just chafes off and that's it, you lose your fish. Anyhow, what I really came to do was to go looking for kingfish. The wind's still beautiful, the water's flat. I'm going to burn down the coast and let's see if Mr. Kingfish is home. Yew! Epic. So clear in here. Normally you can't even get this close to this reef. There's normally swells breaking through here, but today we're laughing as flat as flat can be. Just gonna throw these poppers around, get a bit of splash going, see if Mr. Kingfish is in the area. If he's not here, I'll move along and see if I can find him somewhere else. I might even troll a couple of puffers around. It's normally a pretty good way to locate them. There's a bit of reef in front of you. I'm going to try and ping it over there. Skippy on. Oh, wow. Oh, that was easy. Some skippy just, I just saw some skippy there and I dropped this berserker down and straight away into it. Wow, that's really putting in. Come on, Mr. Skippy. That's Skippy. He just smashed that berserker lure. All I did was drop it to the bottom and twitch, twitch, and whack on it. He was straight onto it. I might see if I can get another one of these and I'll um, have a couple of live baits. Just cast my popper here. I've hooked something. Oh, I think it's a tailor. I had to turn the GoPros off because I was just, I've been casting and casting and just nothing and nothing and nothing. And then out of the blue, my poppers just been whacked. Taylor. Nice one. Okay, set up, set up. There you go. Nice little Taylor. He can go back. Let's see if we can get a king on. What we actually came here for. Kings are very quiet today. I've been trying and trying and putting in the required cast. But I don't know, maybe it's a tide thing. Maybe it's a seasonal thing. Water temperature is 22.7, which is pretty good. Just gotta keep on casting. Wow, this is just amazing here. So beautiful, the water's so clear. Check this out.
The kings are very quiet today. I've moved around, I've done about 300 casts. My arms are bloody sore from casting. But have a look at this water. Absolutely spectacular. I don't know if you can see here. I'm right in the zone. The kings just don't want to play. So what I'm going to do is have a little swim, I think. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. It's really hot. It's got to about 30 odd already, and it's only just gone 7.30. So I'm going to have a quick little dip, then I'm going to pack up, and I'm going to head out a bit further into some deeper water and see if I can't catch something for dinner, because it doesn't look like the kingfish want to play today. So they're not playing. I've given a good Aussie crack. Got a tailor, got a couple of skippy. Um, yeah, I'm going to head out wider and see if I can't secure something for the dinner tonight. Oh my god, this water is spectacular. Seriously, how spoiled are we here in Australia? Just so lucky. What an epic day. Loving it. Alright, All right. time to get some dinner. I'm going to have a drop. Got a little bit of ground out here. It's nothing too exciting on the sound of it. Normally turns up something. I'm only 19 metres. I'm not very far out as you can see. Sort of just behind the main reef. Just a little bit of ground. I've sounded up before. Pulled a few baldies and a few jewies off of here before. <clears throat> just going to drive back over it. Try to get a feel for which way the wind's blowing. There's hardly any wind. It's really, really swirly here this morning. Whoa. Okay, let's have a drop. So that fitty, the skippy I caught earlier on, got to fill it. 40 gram snap bait. Just gonna drop that to the bottom. See what happens. Hopefully, this is very formally. Last time I came here. I literally dropped and hooked up like almost instantly. <laughs> that's the dream, but I don't think that's good. I can see my snap bait on the sounder. See that going down there? That's my snap bait going down, so now I know it's on the bottom. I know it's or just off the bottom and I'm getting hits already. Bang. Oh, yep. Fish. Oh, I dropped him. I hit my bait. Hey. Yep, go on. Come on, stay connected this time, Scotty. That's not huge, whatever it is. going real slow in case it's a little dewy. I don't think it is but it's really small whatever it is. It's a little bullet, a little break seat Todd. Little break seat cod. He won't even go size. Aggressive little fish but Come on, something's having a go. Surely I can get a fish. Yeah, something on here. What have we got? Oh, yep. Decent. Decent. Come on, stay connected, Scotty. Decent. Come on, boy. I'm just going really slow. There's no need to rush it. It's up off the bottom. Sharks are not really a huge issue where we are here. Just taking my time with it. I think it's a baldy. 
should be ideal. Oh no, it's a little snapper. It's a little snippy snaps. Oh, I feel like he's not going to go size. He's under. What a shame. Nice little pinky. Yeah, he's under. Lucky beer, mister.